this seems like a pretty normal day so far. I don't want to alarm anybody, but in a few hours, my life could change forever. I know that a lot of people say that, and uh, a lot of the time it sounds like clickbait. Ito, ready? Go get it. But this time it's actually true because while this looks like a normal winter day in Toronto, snowing, walking the dog, there's a non-zero chance that today is the day that my son is born. And while that's scary, it's also really exciting. So I'm trying to tire this guy out as much as I can uh, before we find out if today really is the day. Vito, sit. All right, so a bit of an update. Um, yesterday during a routine um, checkup for my wife's pregnancy, they found her blood pressure was just a little bit high Nothing alarming, but just a little bit high. Um, apparently, if that continues, it can become dangerous, or if it starts to escalate, it, become, it can become dangerous. But given the fact that she's already at full term, um, they thought, all right, well, I'll just induce and uh, start the labor process. We were not ready for that. We were still kind of half packed because we're still technically not due for another two weeks. Um, so that was a bit of a shocker. So what we did is we said we'd go home, we'd uh, monitor, keep monitoring it, keep monitoring her blood pressure and uh, you know, get our affairs in order, so to speak. And then if it continues, um, then we'd come back to the hospital. So we did that and uh, did another blood pressure reading this morning or did a bunch of them, um, and they're still kind of on the borderline. So I think, uh, and we're still on the borderline, still about where they were yesterday. So I think as I'm walking up to the hospital here that uh, I'm not leaving here until there's a baby, which is scary, <laughs> uh, exciting. No, which is, which is super exciting because I've been waiting for this for a while. I feel as ready as I'm going to be. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so update, it's four hours later. I am now leaving the hospital, going to get the car. Still no baby. Gonna go home, get something to eat. I'm um, gonna just wait for the call to come back and, uh, and really kick off this process. One thing a lot of dads told me, um, the hardest part of this whole process is feeling helpless and feeling like you can't do anything about it other than just support her and be there for her. And uh, I certainly felt that. And like, you know, my wife is an amazing person who's just very resilient and chill and awesome. But also I am can be impatient, I can get bored, so just like, waiting in that tiny room for like an answer for like are we doing this today are we not doing this today that was uh <laughs> you know as the song appropriately says it's the waiting that's the hardest part uh i guess i should give you guys a quick update it is currently two in the morning still waiting for the hospital to call us back um I took a nap, wife is sleeping. I just watched a, a very long Indian movie. It's really good if you're on Netflix, 
check it out rrr pretty epic um but yeah i mean we've it's been one like eight hours since we left the hospital and they told us they'd call us back to come in um Obviously, I didn't think it would be this long, but I also didn't think I was going to be even in this position today. Um, you know, and it's like every time we express, you know, what we envision our lives being like um, as parents or, or with kids now in our lives... There's always, there's always a lot of negativity. I, mean, I think it's kind of like cliche and people being folksy, like, oh, well, you can forget about sleep or you can forget about travel, you can forget about this, forget about that. And it was just like, look, I know things are going to change. I know things are going to, um, there's going to be new things. There's new exciting things, but like, come on, don't, don't always make it sound like it's all terrible. I know that the incredible like blessing that that my son is gonna bring to this home and to our family um, I think about just so much joy and you know obviously that it's gonna come with some pain too or I mean, frustrations and you know all the, the things that come along with with being a human um, or taking care of another human being and being responsible for another human being it's like but then I think about you know moments of tenderness and joy and I think that those are the beautiful moments. And maybe as men, it's sort of, we're not great at expressing that, um, not great at, um, not always great at expressing emotion. And, you know, because we are very, <laughs> try to be very logical. I try to be very logical and pragmatic and, and trying to make things work, but, um, one of the things as I was thinking about today is this, uh, as it's, it was becoming an ex in, uh, increasing possibility that um, that we would start the labor process today. I wanted to make sure that I was present and, and just think about, um, just take in the moments and, and just remember as much of it as I can. Guys, let's not do the cliche thing where we say, well, you can forget about sleep and you can forget about your life and you can forget, forget about doing this and forget about doing that. Um, because that's the kind of that's the kind of crap that like, you know, just sort of masks the beauty of of fatherhood and. I'm excited for it. I like. I I feel like I'm mean, not even really in a position to be like, oh, fatherhood's so beautiful. This is like I don't know yet. It might it, it might it might very well suck, um, but I have a feeling it won't. And I'm I'm super excited for it. So it's like if if having a son or having a child and and um, sort of going on that journey with my wife. Uh, in in raising a son, in having kids, and, and you know, adding to our life. And if the worst thing that comes out of that is I lose sleep a little bit at the beginning, so it's like I've lost sleep for much much dumber things that were not worth it. Yeah. Anyway, I thought I thought we would be back at the hospital by now, but obviously that's not happening. So. I'm guessing I should try to get some more sleep and so you can tell I'm never going to get to sleep ever again, apparently. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that's, that's the update, I guess, right now and some extra ramblings from, from me. 
get as much sleep as we can, wait for the phone to ring, and and take it from there. Okay. And, um, next update is now uh, 6 in the morning. The hospital just called and said uh, we need to be there before 7.30 so that we're not reprioritized. Um, so you just get there before their shift ends, so... I'm actually telling you guys before I wake up my wife, so congratulations. Um, okay, well, that's fine. Managed to get managed to get some sleep, and uh, it's morning enough, I guess, that coffee is not out of the question. This is our room. There she is, the lady, special lady, doing well. So we got bed, bunch of medical stuff over there, closet, uh, couch slash probably where I'll sleep, and a view of more hospital. How about that? Go in the bathroom. Pretty luxurious. All right, anyway, um, yeah, that's our room. Because of the nature of the process that we're going through, they're gonna move us again. Um, and I think that's where we're gonna finally be able to settle. But from the time we got to the hospital at like seven, I think it, we didn't get into this room until about one o'clock. I think, I think we're all ready to take a little bit of a nap while we still can. And, uh, and we wait. And we wait, but at least we can do it a little bit more comfortably now. Uh, stretch our legs and get a blanket and turn the lights down low. That's, that's, that's okay. <laughs> okay, so now I think we are in the final, final room. It's a... Uh, almost six o'clock and as you can see on the clock behind me um it's almost six o'clock 1800 hours um and yeah i think this is this is it right this is where the baby's gonna be born Here, this one. This one? One three? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. It's been a long time. I've been waiting for yeah. you. I've been cool. waiting for you, my little one. So oh, he's so happy. He's a burrito. <laughs> it's yeah. the size of a chip oh, over. So 
it's just before midnight on the day of this guy's birth date. Um, obviously traumatic, or not traumatic, um, dramatic start to the day um, with the unexpected C-section to bring this guy into the world. And yeah, it's, it's been a great day since, but you know, he met his grandma, one of, he met one of his grandmas, he met a bunch of his aunts. It's crazy just like looking at him. I've, this guy has not been in my life for 24 hours yet and already I can't imagine my life without him. This is so crazy, man. So crazy, he just like looks up at you and just like, This guy's life is literally in my hands right now, and he's looking up at me like, I don't know who you are, but you seem like a trustworthy person. <laughs> and just feel, falls asleep and feels safe and like. <sighs> and then one day he's gonna have opinions and <sighs> talk back and all that jazz. But anyway, like out of all of the drama of yesterday, the late nights, the not, no sleep. And that is going to continue tonight because he gets checkups every three hours. Um, he's still working on figuring out how to, how to suckle, hoping, we're hoping that, um, that we can uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe holding our fingers crossed uh, leave, walk out of the hospital, um, tomorrow, at some point tomorrow, um, that would be amazing, given that we've been at this hospital every day since Tuesday, and we are now in the last 15 minutes of Friday, so it's been a ride, and it's been a journey, and for the next three hours, good night. Shout out to my brother-in-laws who gifted me the Air Monarchs shoes, AKA the ultimate dad shoe at my baby shower. Uh, so he's met his grandmas, he's met all his immediate aunts and uncles. Um, but there's one family member that he hasn't met yet. And uh, it is very important that he meets him because he's probably gonna be the closest to him. He's also the most psychotic. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, 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 buddy. Sit. Good boy. Stay. Stay. Okay. Come on. Let him run around, be a psychopath for a little bit. Get his energy out, calm down. Did he grow? Probably. Hey. Hey. Good boy. Yeah. Stay, Vito. Ah, uh -uh. stay. Good boy. Sit down, sit down. Ah, uh -uh. sit down. You go sit on the couch. Good boy, sit. Good boy, Vito. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, come say hello. Come on. Uh, uh, gentle. Gentle. 
Good boy. Ah ah. Ah ah. Gentle. Sit. Good boy. This is my family now. <laughs>